Oh boy. I just want to say, let's make sure we don't get the ethics committee con caught on us, because that's not going to end well. We are breaking protocol already, so that's to be expected. I am hiding the fight fun box from sight. Hi there, how can I help you? Good evening, Mr. Site Director. We have a bit of a question. So, we came across some information just passing around, overhearing, and we heard that there was a disappearance of an anomaly Mr. Lost 10 months ago. Do you by any chance know anything about it? Oh, Mr. Lost. Yes. Uh, well, yes. Uh, Mr. Lost has been lost, uh, I mean, as long as we've been aware of it. Far, far longer than 10 months ago. See, the strange thing about it is we came to realize we also heard that one of your personnel at the site had gone missing about 10 months ago as well. David. Yes, Agent Smith. He was on a field mission. Uh, he disappeared into a portal to a dimension known as the other world. Would you perhaps think there's any correlation? <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, there seems to be someone at the door. This is right. David. Oh shit. Oh shit. Speak of the devil. Uh, everyone get back to work. Back to work. Yes, thank you, Blair. Uh, yeah. I think you have some answers to questions we have. I think it's better you start talking. Look, there are classified documents about this. Uh, and you need to go through the proper channels, months of paperwork to find out about uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to break protocol. Unless you can offer me something. What is that we can offer? I don't know. It's getting a little crowded in here. Uh, but, Jesus Christ, they just don't stop coming. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, if I could have just one second to deal with these folks. Could I continue our little negotiation? We will begin our negotiation in a minute. It looks like we're finding out some things. We are saying hi to Chris, yes. I also believe we need to go track down David. I believe we're not being told okay. something by What's the administrator. Hey, Chris, yeah. buddy, we've been hearing a few things. Do you know who Mr. Lost is? Uh, yeah, I know like bits and pieces, just like, I'm a bit nosy. I, I tend to like listen to what people are talking about. But um, I think he's one of Mr. Fish's siblings. He's like 20 something siblings. Yeah. And Mr. Lost is the one that was kind of the cause of David going missing. Like, David oh. and the site head were on some mission to the portal, and Mr. Lost just kind of happened to pop up. And then, uh, I'm not sure on the details here, this is more of a question for like Elizabeth and the site head, but of the site head was like, oh no, Mr. Lost, we gotta go. And I guess David either wasn't fast enough or did his usual, like, Indiana Jones, like, I got this, you know. That's great information. Thank you. You are such a helpful assistant. And we also want to ask, put in a good word yeah, with course. like Danny again. We're all, we're definitely going to and like with Zip for promotion because like my review is coming up. Yes, so. and your your avocado shirt is very flattering Thank on you. you. I got it for a cosplay. Amazing. Yeah. New information, everyone. I don't think we should trust the site director. Uh, I think he's lying. Like he's out a lot of information. He is. Looks like they're gone. Great! Hey. Yeah. We are. Yes, Have you guys given him something? Yeah, of course. I, I drew everyone at the site to celebrate the new work day, and so I, 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 I drew Sighthead, and I was wondering if you could give him something. Wonderful. Thank you, and tell him it's from Wesley. And we will. And if he says what, then tell him never mind. Alright. Workplace boundaries. Yeah. I know, we, we can use this as blackmail. We can use this to guilt him into telling us the truth. You know, if we find out, like, 
Okay, chat, tell me, should we guilt trip the site director in an attempt to get him to tell the truth, or should we threaten? <laughs> now, tell us your story. There was a mission tent. Mm -hmm. We were investigating an instance of SCP-6717A, a portal to a dangerous dimension known as the other one. A fairly routine, safe mission. We had done such things before. Uh, this portal seemed unstable, so we brought out a portal stabilization device. Like I said, routine, safe mission, where I myself would not have been there. The problem is when we showed up, we realized that what was making the portal unstable was the presence of Mr. Lost. Mm -hmm. He has the power to, one, teleport, uh, making him impossible to capture, two, to cause other things to disappear, including the entirety of Global Task Force Iota, making him incredibly dangerous. So naturally, when, uh, when we realized he was causing the portal to become unstable, I called for a retreat. David, uh, David Smith uh, has a track record for breaking protocol. Um, he thinks he's Indiana Jones. He's even got the cheap hat from Disneyland. Really embarrassing as an adult person to be wearing that. So he went in there. He thought he could maybe capture the uncapturable SCP. Honestly, it was a stroke of luck that Mr. Lost did not make him disappear. David got sucked into the portal. Mr. Lost made the portals. Not an ideal situation. Doesn't look good on a mission report. For myself or David. I had been trying to keep it on the down low for this David and Dr. Taylor. Previously engaged. And I didn't want it to seem like he was recklessly abandoning her. I mean, it just... I don't know. That kind of behavior to me displays a lack of consideration for the people you care about. And I did not want the feeling to get You know, I kind of think that you're having a lack of consideration for your own personnel. Because from what we were just told, you would actually talk to Mr. Lost, encouraging him to get out. Uh, I'm sorry, who told you that? That is ridiculous. I have not had we any contact with Mr. We don't have to tell you Mr. that, but... I didn't have to tell you anything either. Even your own personnel, who genuinely care about you, you have your own janitors drawing pictures of you because they care about you, yet you are not putting into consideration their safety. The fact that you are lying to everyone on this site. Look, like I said, I called for a retreat when the mission became dangerous. David broke protocol. And you didn't go after him? No, I was not going to put myself in harm's way for that man. I mean, like I said, he's a, a track record for breaking protocol. Again. Look. And covering evidence isn't breaking protocol. I may be research, but I'm not dumb. David was actively working against research. He had a deal with the plague doctor. Some sort of uh, quid pro quo for information. Undermining Dr. Taylor's research, his own fiance's research. What was the nature of this deal? What was he getting from Dr. I don't even know. But that's why the plague doctor knows things he should not know. And it's, it's it, I mean, I don't know, that kind of thing just it puts people's lives in danger. When you say undermining her research, David would tell the plague doctor things about her. Things that could help him get under her skin. Oh? I have no idea what sort of hold the plague doctor had on David that made him give up this information, but... Never make a deal with the devil. And the devil we will speak to. I think we're gonna get answers for ourselves. Don't we'll be trust sure, anything we'll be plague sure doctor says. We'll be sure to keep says. your reputation in hand. For now. But keep in mind your loyalties. And keep in mind what choices you're going to make. Let's go. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. 
please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.